Since the 1980s, the Fred Hutch Infectious Disease Sciences Program has led major initiatives to study pathogens and improve outcomes in highly immunocompromised populations. We have crafted a unique and innovative training program to develop the next generation of physician scientists. We thought it was really important to develop a dedicated training program for infections in the immunocompromised host because this is a growing part of the population and they have a distinct group of infections that they are susceptible to and infections are generally more severe. And we felt that training in this particular area is a growth area, both for clinical medicine, but also for research. The structure of our training program, I think, is actually quite unique. The program falls within the Vaccine and Infectious Diseases Division, consisting not just of infectious diseases physicians, but of a broad range of scientists, including, but not limited to, immunologists, virologists, biostatisticians, modelers, epidemiologists, trainees can really access multidisciplinary research in a way that is very difficult to achieve uh, at other places. We pride ourselves in tailoring the training of our fellows to the interests as well as the needs of each individual fellow. Our faculty work very closely together with each fellow to customize a pathway to really help set our fellows up for success and to allow them to achieve their eventual career goals. During my training, I've gained technical skills. I've learned how to use new software. I've learned how to use new mathematical methods. I've also gained skills in collaborating and working with biologists. Coming from a mathematical background, I was used to communicating one way, but now I've worked in more interdisciplinary teams and practiced communicating across different backgrounds. The the program, I think, really tries to foster a supportive and inclusive environment by creating social opportunities for faculty, staff, and fellows to all mingle and mix and talk about their research, but also the other things that are important in their life. Another aspect is the people here and all the openness of the community to embrace everybody, whatever race, religion, sexual orientation, you are welcomed here and you feel that very, very quickly once you start living in this amazing city. It's an incredibly rich environment. It's great for academics, lovely people here. Doors are open. You can work with a ton of different faculty who have a lot of various interests, but I think also the community is very open to research. Working with fellows in our program has really enriched the work that I do and the work that the staff on my team do, and I think collaboratively the work that we do across our program. Fellows always bring great ideas, great energy, lots of ambition to our groups, and is really one of the key pieces of our program and something that we take a lot of pride in. I think what makes Seattle a great place to train is that there's such a rich network of collaborating institutions here. And so because we have partnerships with the University of Washington Virology Department, uh, the Infectious Diseases Division, Seattle Children's, Rotman Beatty Institute, and other partners across the um, Seattle metro area, it provides just this incredible wealth of knowledge and expertise. Um, there are opportunities for seminars and collaborations across all of these institutions that provide, I think, an unparalleled level of expertise, both technological and operational, that our fellows can really take advantage of while they're here. I would love to have people come through this program and feel like they are trained to be excellent transplant clinicians first. But everyone who comes to this program, ideally, would also have clinical research tools that could help them to develop a career in academics. That ability to take a quality improvement project, get it to a publication, or a research idea that they can then use to springboard them into new leadership positions in the transplant space. It's also just great to be here in South Lake Union. I love the views from the office and uh, on the bus ride in in the morning, I always get to check whether the mountain's out. The resources that the Fred Hutch has and the quality of the patient care that it provides is bar none one of the greatest things that I've seen throughout my training. So I could not miss out on this opportunity.